In this Excel video lecture, we're going to discuss how to use uh, the charting tool in Excel to create business graph. So from the unzipped um, Excel exercise file, you're going to choose T1 basic. And once the, um, the worksheet has been brought up, and you can scroll and try to find a uh, different worksheet. Um, Excel file consists of um, a number of worksheets together uh, form a so-called workbook. Uh, the tab here allow you to access an uh, individual worksheet. Uh, we're going to use this um, mischief charting um, worksheet to uh, illustrate the creation of business graph. First of all, um, this is um, a sales data for four quarters within the year of 2006 across four different regions. Uh, the data actually exists here. You can look at here. That's where the um, data is. But it's not showing up properly. The reason is that the column is too, too narrow to display the data. What we can do is to expand the size on um, the width of the column that's one way to do it and another way is you highlight this and just double click on the sign and that will expand it if you have more than one column you can just highlight this and then double click okay now we can see all the data clearly the next step is to highlight the region um, that contain the data that you want to transform into a business graph. And if you do have like column heading and row heading here, and you should just include the headings uh, in, in the highlighted area. Once that has been done, uh, you should switch to the insert um, area over here and you'll find all the in the, the so-called ribbon for the insert and one of them is related to charts and you will pick um, a chart type I'm going to choose a column here and drop it down I can choose say a 3d column right away um, <coughs> the system actually show the business graph to me. Uh, let me adjust this just a little bit so you can see maybe a little bit better. So that's the um, that's the chart including um, including the legend indicating the four region and also the four quarters and the the actual dollar amount. So once we have this uh, business chart, um, we can kind of customize it. Under this charting tool, um, we have three areas that we can customize the business graph. We can change its design. Uh, for instance, we can change to a different chart type, such as if you want to use this particular one, double click, um, then we're changing a different chart type. And also we can uh, change the layout, which including give um, the business graph a title, uh, give the um, the axis um, a title, and also um, specify the legend. And the legend has been created for us um, because we included the column and row heading uh, when we try to insert this and create this new business graph. Let's just do a simple one. Let's add a chart title. Drop it down. Choose maybe add the title above the chart. So here we can add a title. We just say six sales uh, um, summary. So this is um, basically um, done with adding the title. Um, 
what I want to do next is to um, copy this chart or basically you can cut and paste but I'm going to just do copy I'm going to copy this chart and then I can add it uh, insert it or paste it to a new worksheet if you click here or you notice that it's insert worksheet I can click here and that's a new worksheet over here I can just click right mouse button okay uh, let me go back to the previous one okay make sure I'm here um, I'm copying it come to the sheet now this it's working okay here I can paste based on um, destination themes or keep the source formatting or just as a picture and you should choose keep source formatting okay that's what we have um, if you keep the source formatting you're going to create a link between this um, business graph and the data that we have here okay let me explain what that mean let's assume we, we need to modify the data original data um, let me just give it extremely low number here watch the chart here okay watch the this bar here and once I enter this number you find out this bar has been reduced uh, dramatically and so this this numerical data and the business graph are basically linked if we switch to the new worksheet here you find out this has been changed accordingly okay uh, you can click right mouse button let me just do, you can click my right mouse button and choose rename to rename the worksheet so you can say this is the business graph okay to rename it furthermore we can potentially um, create a word document and then insert the work doc insert the business graph in the word document when you do that once again if you click the right mouse button and you should choose use destination thing and link data or keep source formatting and link data okay so that is what I'm going to choose okay so you will notice that uh, this is this is the same business graph if we switch back to Excel and change the information here maybe change it to the original one so you see this has been recovered and if I switch to Word, okay, you will find out in the Word document I haven't done anything. You'll find out this bar has been recovered to the original one instead of the shorter one. So that's what that link, um, uh, data link, um, imply. Um, this used to call object linking embedding, and also it's part of the so called dynamic data um, exchange okay so this pretty much conclude our introduction of the business graph um, let me just fix this little typo here thank you for listening and see you next time